Time for another weigh-in. Error. <laughs> 198.5. How's it going? Lee Hayward here with another update with my 30 day shred fat loss program. Right now I'm out for a walk with my dog Sally. And this of course is part of the program. Every single day, try to get out and get some form of cardio. Usually it's walking, sometimes it's mountain biking. If the weather's not suitable, it's cardio machines at the gym. But again, every single day doing some form of cardio usually for about a half hour minimum. And uh, in addition to that, I do strength training every other day. So three to four days a week of weight training and cardio every day. This week, I'm down one pound on the scale, which is really good progress. I'm happy with that. Last week, I was down four pounds, but last week was like the first week of the program. So obviously, you're gonna lose a lot of water weight uh, the first week. After you get that out of your system, then it's usually getting into burning actual body fat. So it usually slows down a little bit after that. So what I'm going to cover in this video is some of the foods and the meals that I'm having to help me with this 30 day fat loss program. And this is critical because you can have your workouts in place. You could be doing your cardio, but if you don't have your meals in check, then you're not going to see the progress that you want because when it comes to fat loss, 80% of your results is the nutrition. Yes, the weight training, yes, the cardio, that helps. But if you're eating too much, it doesn't matter how much you're working out, it doesn't matter how much cardio you're doing, you're not gonna create a calorie deficit if you're just simply eating too much. So you need to have a calorie deficit. And the best way to do that is not so much through starving yourself or depriving yourself, but making better food choices. So more high volume foods, again, natural unprocessed foods, uh, lean meats, chicken, fish, lots of fruit and veg, all that natural unprocessed stuff that's as close to its natural state as possible. I mean, if it walked on the ground, if it flew in the sky, if it swam in the sea, or if it grew from the ground, it's good to eat. If it's processed and man-made, it's not so good to eat. Now, I'm not saying that I don't eat any processed foods, but I try to keep it to a minimum and focus on the natural unprocessed stuff as much as possible. So, uh, in this video, that's what I'm gonna cover, some of the meals that I'm eating to help me with my 30-day fat loss program. Nice. So just did a morning walk with the dog, and I'm gonna have breakfast, which is going to consist of a blender smoothie, and this is Kind of like an ice cream type thing, so I mix it up really thick so it tastes like ice cream, has a texture of ice cream. So what I have, one cup liquid egg whites in the blender. I'm gonna pour in some protein powder and some collagen powder. This is something I've been using a lot lately uh, for the past few months. And I find that, knock on wood, it helps to uh, improve my joints. Like I haven't had any joint pain since I started using collagen regularly. I'm just going to put in probably about oh, 20 grams of collagen powder. This is flavorless, tasteless, so you don't even notice it's there. But it will actually thicken up the, uh, the shake just a little bit. I'm going to put in some protein powder. This one I'm using the uh, Muscle Farm Combat Cookies and Cream flavor, which has a nice taste. And I'm just going to blend that real quick. I like to blend up the protein powder in the egg whites first before I add in the frozen berries because that makes it blend up easier. And I don't measure the berries, I just dump them in. It's just kind of, I've made this that many times, I know approximately how many berries I can mix in and have a nice ice creamy texture. And there we go, a nice ice creamy texture like frozen dessert. Mm. Tastes really good. And this satisfies my ice cream craving. So instead of like regular ice cream, which is mostly sugar and fat, this is mostly protein and a lot of nutrients and antioxidants from the berries. So this has probably about 60 grams of protein. 
because there's 25 grams from the egg whites, 25 grams from the, this protein, and about another 10 or so grams from the collagen protein. So yeah, we're, we're looking at about 60 grams. So very high protein, very low in carbs, because the only source of carbs is what came from the frozen berries, which is maybe approximately 20 grams of carbs. So you're actually getting like a three to one ratio of protein to carbs, and very low in fat as well. Just a few grams that came from the protein powder. How much is in the protein? Two grams of fat in a scoop of protein. Everything else is zero fat. This is an ideal fat loss meal. Very filling because you got a lot of food volume there. Very tasty and high in nutrients, low in calories, high in protein. One of my meals on my 30 day shred. All right, so we are making a Costco run. Get some chow. <laughs> This is typical stuff that we eat anyway, what we're going to be picking up here today at Costco, but I just want to show it as part of my 30-day shred that I'm doing because what I want to show is that you can still eat good, healthy, satisfying food and still make progress as long as you're smart about it. All right, first on the list, going to grab some almonds, a great source of healthy fat and fiber. Uh, next, going to get some protein bars. Now, this is a treat. I don't eat a lot of protein bars, but it's a good alternative for when you're craving something sweet, like you want something chocolatey or whatever. I'll usually have a protein bar to satisfy that craving and also bump up the protein intake for the day. I get my protein powder here at Costco. They usually have the best prices around when it comes to protein powder. The one that I've been using lately is the Muscle Farm Combat Cookies and Cream flavor. I really like that one, but I'll mix it up from time to time and have different types of protein powder. I also get my collagen protein here as well. So this that's the one that you've seen me make uh, with the blender smoothie earlier. And a great way to uh, get that much needed collagen in your diet so it can help to strengthen the joints, tendons, and ligaments pick up some salsa. This is awesome for adding flavor to your food, especially like your meat, your chicken, your rice, stuff like that, without a lot of calories. So when you're on a fat loss diet, you really wanna look for ways to get the most bang for your buck in terms of flavor for the least amount of calories, and salsa is good for that. I'm gonna grab some rainbow trout, a great source of protein, healthy fats, those omega-3s, it has a very similar nutritional profile to salmon, but it actually works out cheaper on a gram for gram basis. So it's a nice alternative. While I'm in the freezer section, I'm gonna get some frozen berries. This is what I use for my blender smoothie. And the one I'm using here is the big bag of three berry blend. I believe it has raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. So very high in antioxidants and makes for an awesome blender smoothie. Another staple in my diet is Greek yogurt. So I like to get the fat-free Greek yogurt, very low in carbohydrate, very high in protein, has a nice thick creamy texture. I'll use this uh, sometimes as a salad dressing alternative, use it as like a sour cream alternative. Again, phenomenal food. I get my liquid egg whites here. These are pasteurized liquid egg whites. You can consume them right out of the carton. This is the base for my blender smoothies. Another one Costco carries as well is uh, hard-boiled eggs. So they're pre-peeled, ready to eat, super quick and convenient. Great way to have that simple, fast, easy, healthy foods. If you can make your diet easy so that instead of reaching for snack food and processed foods and stuff like that, you're reaching for healthy food. Again, the Greek yogurt, very quick and convenient. Hard-boiled eggs, quick and convenient. A protein bar, fruits and veg, all this kind of stuff. I mean, if you reach for that instead of the processed junk food like the crackers and the chips and, and candy bars and all that, you can get the eating satisfaction you want, the convenience that you want, and still move yourself in the right direction towards reaching your fitness and fat loss goals. So it doesn't take more discipline. It just takes better planning and, and a change in mindset. When we're shopping, we fill up on the natural on process stuff. Right? The more natural, the more unprocessed the foods you eat, the better you're going to be. Because when it comes to protein, fruits, and veg, you can pretty much eat as much as you want within reason and get that eating satisfaction, get that satiation you want without going over your calorie limit. And in addition to that, 
you're fueling your body with high nutrient food. So it's actually making you feel stronger, healthier, more energetic, instead of depleting your energy with all that processed crap that most people eat. So I'm getting some baby spinach, uh, getting some pre-made bags of salad. I like to go for the kale salad. That's one of my personal favorites. And of course, Costco sells these great big bags of the ready-made salad. So a quick and convenient source of veggies already washed, ready to go. Another thing that they have are pre-cooked chicken breasts. Now, I'll be honest, they don't taste quite as good as if you made up a chicken breast on your own, but it's already done for you. I mean, if you are in a jam and you don't have time to cook healthy, then this is an option. You have this healthy alternative, a chicken breast that's already cooked, ready to go. Same thing here, I got turkey breast, already cooked, ready to go. If you can make your food as quick and convenient as possible, you're more likely to actually stick to your diet. So in addition to the pre-cooked chicken breast, we also get some fresh chicken breast. So if we want to make like a homemade recipe meal, we can do so. Uh, getting some lean ground beef. Again, I love this for stir fries, you know, making a meat and veggie stir fry. Sometimes I'll make up my own hamburger patties and grill them. Uh, again. Just try and fill yourself up on the quality, natural, unprocessed foods. So that's a quick overview of some of the staples that we get at Costco. Now, of course, we don't do all of our shopping here. We do go to the grocery store for some things. And, of course, we didn't need to get everything on the list today. But these are some of the basics that I like to get. And they make up the majority of my fat-burning diet. All right, here's another quick, simple meal. What I have here is the bags of ready-made salad from the store so this is like a lettuce carrot cabbage and then there's a broccoli salad I mix the two of it together put it there a couple grilled chicken breasts I'm going to do a mix of salad dressing and Greek yogurt for my salad dressing <laughs> so because salad dressing is high in fat and sugar and Greek yogurt is basically pure protein so what I'll do is I'll do like a 50 50 mix of the salad dressing and the Greek yogurt salad dressing scoops of Greek yogurt and I love Greek yogurt this is awesome because it's nice it's thick it's creamy it's almost pure protein and it gives the salad that creamy texture that I crave without all the fat and sugar and gunk that I don't want with the regular salad dressing but I still like a little hint of the regular salad dressing taste so that's why it makes 50 50 very quick very simple and I'll wolf that down. So that's a high protein, low carb lunch. I'm not gonna weigh you down with, uh, with a lot of starches because sometimes I find, especially for, for midday meals, if you eat a lot of starch, it kind of makes you feel a bit heavy and sluggish. I kind of like to save the majority of my high carb meals for in the evening. But when I do want to feel more relaxed and stuff like that, it helps me sleep better. But midday, I try to keep it mostly protein and veggies. So there, another quick meal. And if you'd like some help with your own fat loss progress, then I've put together a free PDF that covers the top three mistakes that most guys make when it comes to losing body fat. And I'd be more than happy to send you a copy. All you have to do is email me at leeh at leehayward.com and I will send you a copy of that via email. And make sure to stay tuned for my next video uh, when I'll be doing another progress update on my journey to losing 10 pounds in 30 days with my 30 day shred. So stay tuned for that. And I look forward to talking to you very soon in my next video. Take care, over and out.